it's never too late for who you want to be. I'm Pia and I have with me Ali and we are right here at that is Science CPA uh, Services and we will be talking to the founder of Science CPA that is Ajay Kumar and Ali you want to pay your taxes this, what do you want to do? I don't know if this is an accountant a life coach he is unbelievable uh, worldly and uh, I'm impressed with uh, everything he's done and accomplished. Absolutely, let's roll in. To see Ajay Kumarji. Okay, also me. My name is Pia. I'm from ITV Go. Okay, Pia. I'm I'm Ali. Ali. Nice to meet you. Same here. Hi, Ali. Nice to meet you. Please come. Mr. Kumar, is there a need? Oh yes, Pia. Please come. Please come. Please. Nice to meet you. Ali. Pleasure, pleasure, pleasure. Please have a seat. Thank you. Ali, Thank please. You. Pleasure meeting with you. Thank I'll you so much. Later. Thank please, you. please have a seat, Ali. Please have a seat. Thank you. Thank you, Ali. Please. Uh, we are right here uh, with the founder, uh, that is Ajay Kumar of Science CPA. Hi, how are you, sir? I'm doing great. Great, Pia. Yeah. Good to see you. Really good to see you as I well. I hear you're the top Mumin G. Did I say that right? <laughs> <laughs> Did I pronounce that right? Where Mumin did you G? get that word? I'm, I'm learning. I thought Pia's teaching me on the side so I can be learning. Absolutely. Mumin G. That's what we are. Mumin yeah. G. Congratulations on making it to another to an episode of Desi on Main. Oh, thank you. I appreciate that. I appreciate you being here. Yeah, a lot of accolades. Yeah, you know about the uh, people have been talking about mm -hmm. maybe nominating us for Oscars and, and, and Emmys and mm -hmm. Bollywood. The Desi on Main's top being they're talking about it everywhere. I, I, mean, I thought we are already nominated. Well, we nominated. I think. <laughs> oh. oh, oh, soon yeah. enough. But he does all the businesses behind the scenes of Main. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Make sure that everyone's proper paperwork, payroll, accounting, and all the other services. We help do. people get to the main street. We help a lot of small business owners to get to your show. This is a main street. Oh. This is what we do. That, that is perfect. You, you said it very well. You help people. So what we want to know and what ITV goals, uh, all the viewers, they want to know about your journey from Ajay to Kumar. Wow. Yes, that's a loaded question, Pia. Thank you. Well, I came here in this country in 96, early 96, and you wouldn't believe it. In a three-piece suit, in a coat, with no jacket, March. It's hot in India in March. So not knowing what I was walking in. And it's a long plane ride. It's 16 a hours. Piece. This is how I came to this country in early 96. I started my journey with $100, $100. Mm -hmm. I, when I came here, and this is how they teach you in India. Everything has to be negotiated. Mm -hmm. The cab driver wanted $40. The bill was 35 He was expecting $40 in his mind with some tip. And me being the Desi Brown guy, I wanted to pay 30 Because the bill was 35 so I, why should I be paying 35 It has to be negotiated. After 30 minutes of broken English bargaining, we decided to pay 35 He wouldn't budge. I wouldn't budge either. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't give a tip. This is how the journey started with sixty-five dollars in ninety-six. Wow. Sure. The first week's expenses were nine dollar fifty cent every day. We'll make goya beans, the can, the small can, the thirty-nine cent can. We'll put some extra water. We'll skip the breakfast. We'll eat that in the night and take the leftover for lunch every day. One day is rajma, next day is chole. Nine dollars yeah. fifty cent for the whole week's mm -hmm. worth of expenses. This is how the journey started. So, Mr. Kumar, tell me, like, what made you decide to leave India and come here? Well, in 96, everybody, it was the Y2K time. Hmm. The time was hot. Everybody wanted to come to U.S. Coming to U.S. was a prestige signal. I did my engineering through one of the most reputed schools. It was IIT Delhi. So, the passing rate in that school is less than 1%. If one lakh people are sitting in, less than 1% people will get bad mission. So for all of us, 
and I guess 80% of the batch in my batch is here in the US. It was the right thing to do. Everybody was doing it. I did not know what to do. I was too young to be deciding what the, what's the right thing. Everybody is doing it. So should I. Let's hear your story. You know, working hard here. I'm sure, as you said, uh, you know, you had language issues. And of course, food is another thing, Absolutely. which is definitely an issue when you come from India. So let's talk about that. What, what were the challenges and how did you overcome those challenges? Well, I came here as an engineering, computer engineering graduate on H1 visa. Then I decided to do MBA in finance from New York University. Because once you come from IIT, once you come from that type of a school, you want to become the CEO. They train you. In, this is a high reputed school. They train you. The right thing for you to do is to run a company. Mm. But nobody will allow you to run a company as soon as you come, especially when you can't speak the language mm. in a foreign country. So I was told if you have MBA, that too from one of the good schools. Right. So I went to NYU because it was right next door. I used to live in the city. So it was right next door. Decided to go to NYU. Well, if MBA is what it takes to become the CEO, yes. that's what I'll do. After doing the NYU MBA in finance, they train you. CEO is not the right thing. CFO is the one who is making all the decisions. Chief financial officer yes. is what you want to become. It was 99 at that time. The Sarbin Oxley happened. As per the Sarbin Oxley rule, all the CFO must be the CPAs. Otherwise, you are responsible for all the financial statements that you are signing. So I will go to my manager. Well, how about CFO? Well, you are not a CPA yet. <laughs> oh, so CPA is what it takes. So CPA it is. And I started doing the CPA. I go back. Well, I have four years degree in computer, MBA in finance, and a CPA. How about now? No, 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 no. You are not a CPA. You have to work under a CPA for four years wow. to get the license. Well, it is what it is. That's what I'll do. So I worked under a CPA for four years. You see, I have 53 employees right now over there. Mm -hmm. Every one of them thinks they are running the company. The company is surviving because of them. Everybody feels that. I was young. I was naive. That's how I felt. I was running the company. So next thing I wanted to do is to run my own company. That's how I started science and research process. That is the way to do it. This is what we wanted. We work 18 hours a day. The first meeting, even now, even today, with all this success, the first meeting is 7 o'clock. I am one of the few CPAs in the summer who are taking meetings at 8 o'clock in the evening. We are working Saturdays. So it's not about reaching somewhere. It's more about maintaining that. Taking it to the next level. Every year. This is the whole diary. Okay. This is the start. Here, we have the daily goals, the monthly goals, yearly goals, financial goals, what I want to achieve. We'll write it down. Wow. I will personally handwrite it down. It can't be typed. It will defeat the purpose. And then I look at it every month, every quarter to see where I'm reaching. So tell me what drives you, what inspires you to do all this? Oh, well, a lot of people ask me. Even my own family asked me. Why work from 7 to 7? What's the need to be working 12 hours, 14 hours, 18 hours? I don't know any better. I don't know what else to do. Truthfully, if I'm not working, if I go to a social function, I'm an outcast. I don't, I don't, I haven't watched TV for God knows ever. Except for Desi Ahmed. Except this is on Main Street. Right. And some cricket. But this is on Main Street first. Other than that, I haven't watched TV. I don't. Do I, I was media. actually going to ask you how do you balance your home life and uh, there is your no other work life. There is, my <laughs> wife, who is the CEO of the company, mm -hmm. she manages the staff. Mm. Uh, she is the CEO of the company. She manages the HR, marketing, sales. She takes care of the home. I come early. She comes a couple of hours late. Take care of the kids. Leaves a couple of hours early. Takes care of the home. This is who I am. If I don't work on Saturday, I don't know what I'm doing. I'll walk in the basement, back and forth, back and forth, then I say, let's open, let's open up the computer. 
So, you know, since you are saying all this, I think we would want you to give us a tour. And tour Absolutely. So. My pleasure. Yes. Thank, Thank, you. You. Thank you. Absolutely. Let's go. So you have uh, hard work in office staff yes. here. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Can you tell us what some of these people think? Absolutely. Absolutely. The whole company is divided into departments. The bookkeeping department, the payroll department, the sales staff, the income tax. Here we have Shanti. Shanti. Hi Shanti. Hello. Hi, how are you? I'm good. Tell us, what do you do here? I'm Shanti. Hmm. I am working as a senior accountant here. I handle bookkeeping here. Wonderful and all the best to you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Here we have Deepa. Hello. Hello. Sorry to take you away from work. <laughs> Thank you, Deepa. Thank you. Thank you. So, 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 please tell what you do. Uh, I'll deal with payrolls, PIDL loans, estimated tax payments. Wow. So, so you, you like, like your job? job? Yes. Thank, Thank you, so Anjali. Hi. I'm Anjali. I'm an HR manager here. I take care of recruitment and payroll for the company. Anjali, I have a question for you. Yes. What do you like best about your boss? He is flexible. Uh. He uh, respect in, respect to all the employees, and we have a good, very good environment here. It looks like a family environment. Really yes. Enjoy working with him. Wonderful. Yes. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you so much. much. Hi, Divya. Hi. Hi, I'm Pia. Divya. And you know, I see you doing something here. So, so tell us what you do. Okay, so I work in the AR team. We look at the billing, and I do annual reports also. Wow, yeah, nice. that is very nice. And here we have Rakesh. Thank you. Namaskar, Rakesh. So I'm doing wonderful. So what are you doing here? What are you doing here? See, I'm looking after the, the bookkeeping team hmm. of uh, for the company. Hmm. I mean, the bookkeeping uh, folders of all the company which are under us. Hmm. So we are serving various clients hmm. and preparing their financial statements month to month. So, so you financial statements for the whole day, you do the whole day with Lakshmi? Absolutely. How do you start, Rakesh? Tisha, please tell us about yourself. Um, hey. Hi. Hi. Tisha, how are you? I'm wonderful. wonderful. You tell me, how are you doing? What, what do you do? do? Uh, I'm doing my, I'm working on digitalization project and hmm. uh, the petrol project. Hmm. Yeah. So, so did, did you enjoy, enjoy working? Uh, a lot. Yes. Yeah, I love working here. Oh, okay. Yeah, good atmosphere. I'm enjoying here right now. Wonderful. Well, I see that. You are enjoying it. Yeah. She has a big smile on her face. <laughs> Kevin, please tell us yes, about yourself. Thank you. <clears throat> Hi. I'm Kevin. Hi, Kevin. How are you? I'm good. I see you and I've been noticing that you have been busy doing work, right? Yeah, I'm reading the company's financials. Mm. So, so, so do you do like... Uh, Pooja Arti in the morning because you had to do financials? <laughs> no, we just like uh, reviewed the company's financials. Ah, okay. Like keeping month, month to month. Mm. So the bookkeeping team is the largest team in the company. Oh. So out of 53 employees, 20 plus employees works in the bookkeeping team. And wow. so we have 1,200 plus small businesses. So ensuring their financials are done every month, mm. making sure they're profitable or giving them the right advice, mm. strategic advice, mm. and how to bring them, make it more profitable. You're or giving them the insights. So insight into their business. business. Even more efficient. Absolutely. So this is why the, the bookkeeping point, you see Kevin, Rakesh, Divya, Trisha, a lot of people work in the wow. bookkeeping team. Wow. Yes, here I have Nina. Hi, Nina. How are you? I'm wonderful. So, tell us a little bit about what you do here. Um, I'm an income tax lead here, mm -hmm. and I have been working here for almost eight years now. Mm -hmm. and I'm enjoying my work. Wonderful. Mm -hmm. Looks, Looks very interesting. interesting. Whatever, Whatever you are doing, doing on the computer. <laughs> right now, yeah, I'm uh, looking into some marketing and stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Here we have uh, Amit. Amit. Hi, Amit. Yeah, hi. Hi. As you know, please do tell us what do you do. Yeah, I'm a, I'm senior senior tax manager over here. Mm -hmm. and used to review taxes and all the tax stuff. Wonderful, mm -hmm. wonderful. Yeah. So, so do you do you like uh, working with uh, Mr. Kumar? Yeah, of course. The environment is. Uh, mm -hmm. Good. I, I mean, not the environment. What is best for Mr. Kumar that that draws you? Like, I have to be here. And the friendly nature is highlighted. 
Okay. okay. All right. Whatever works. You're getting all the value points today. Yeah, please tell us about yourself. Uh, hi, uh, my name is Priya. Um, I do uh, business registrations, uh, dissolutions, and any change in ownership hmm. for the value companies. Um, I love to work here uh, because I get to learn more with Mr. Kumar. Wow, that is that, that is really nice. That's, that's really nice. nice. You, you know, Mr. Kumar, Kumar, you really are. I think you, you need, need to treat everybody the same. Yes. Ruby, please tell us about yourself, please. Hi, uh, my name is Kulina. Uh, I'm part of the bookkeeping team over here. Mm -hmm. I'm associated with SICP for more than a year. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, and I love my book, and I'm a CEO over here. Yeah. I, I, I want, want you to, to just, just in one word, describe, describe your boss. <laughs> And uh, he lets you do whatever, uh, gives you the freedom to do your work in the best manner possible. And so, so, so the one word would be he's a leader. Yeah, he's a leader. 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 All right. Thank you. Thank you. you can still stay here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Bernie, please tell us about yourself. Hi, I'm Bernie. I'm a CPA here. I've been um, working with Ajay from last one year. Uh, I'm handling various aspects like uh, tax and audits here. So, yeah, I'm working, I'm handling taxes and audits here. Yeah. Wow, well, I think it seems very interesting whatever you are doing there, you know, on the computer because I can't make much sense out of it, but it's amazing. Yes. So I'm, I'm handling uh, tax notices and responding to the IRS and NJ as well. That's wonderful. Thank you. So we have three locations right now, 53 employees. Uh -huh. We started from the basement. Hmm. I had only one employee, part time. Hmm. I couldn't keep her because she wanted 40 hours and I had work for 20 hours only. Wow. I lost my first employee because I did not have enough work for her. Please, please have a seat. Hmm. Now we are at a point, we attract the premium employees. Hmm. We pay more than the market salary. We are a place where people think about working. Wow. If you are a CPA looking for a job, you dream, you hope to work for SAI CPA services. We attract good employees and we have created the environment differently. Yeah, we definitely see that. Flexible hours. See, I have been in many jobs. There are certain things I liked. There are certain things I did not appreciate. So when I, I had my own office, I wanted to make sure that I keep it the way I would really want, that I would want to work for. So flexible hour was very important for me. You can come anytime. People come at 10, people come at 11. As long as things are done, come anytime, leave anytime. I have two kids. People have kids. So if you have to work from home, if you have to take care of the kids, if you have to pick up the kids, you don't have to ask me. The other thing was compensation. I wanted to make sure people are compensated fairly and more than the market rate. Truth be told, training employees is far more expensive than paying them slightly more. So as a rule of thumb, will give them 10% more than the market rate. Flexible hour, higher salary, friendly environment. It's, there is no matrix here. Everything is at the same level. There is no manager, there is no CEO. Everybody does what they're supposed to be doing. People are moved from department to department. If you're doing a good job in three months, you're moved to a different department. So you see the learning. People have been working here for 10 plus years. Right. You don't really see many companies where you have 53 employees and employees who have been staying with Long the company employees for 10 years. Yeah. That's a big deal. That shows success in terms of employee retention. So other than the benefit, people are talking about the 401k, life insurance, disability benefit. You have to do all of that. We have all of that. But other than that, how is the environment? Do people want to come here? Or do they have to come here because it's a job? Right. That's what we're trying to differentiate so, you know, let's talk about your family. Absolutely. Because yeah. I see you are a busy man. And uh, how do they feel, especially your kids and your wife? Well, I'm blessed. Hmm. My wife takes care of a lot of family type of situation. Truthfully, I should have spent more time with the family. And if I redo my life, I'll probably do it differently. I'll spend more time. I see younger kids. And I feel attracted to them just because I did not spend enough time when my kids were younger. How many kids you have? I have two children. Uh, my daughter is in Seton Hall Medical School. Mm. And my son is doing MBA 
in NYU. You have the respect of your employees, and that obviously means you give respect. Absolutely. And I think it's that a that's street, and, and, and you give them a work environment that they could live and enjoy and be happy and be productive. Absolutely. 100%. Very well said. So I'm going to bottle that secret sauce. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. The other thing that I'm that I think everybody should know, a lot of people will give up when the times are tough. A lot of people will take the shortcut when it's too difficult to move forward. And one of the, the secret is doing the right thing when no one is watching. There will be time. I know what needs to be done. There are complex tax returns, there are complex books. The client would never know how it was done if it was done in four hours or four minutes. There are always opportunities, times, pressures to take the shortcut. But what goes around comes around. If you take the shortcut, sooner or later, it will come back to you. So doing the right thing when no one is watching, when only you are there to judge, is very important. The CPA is not about putting the numbers together. It's not just Munimji. You're right. <laughs> it's, you have to provide the strategic direction to all your clients. A lot of time it's more about just the tax and accounting work. A lot of times it's about the family guidance, the strategy guidance, the business guidance. You're 100% right, Ali. Really. Well, it's obvious that your clients are lucky to have you. That's oh, thank the truth. you. I appreciate that. Truly. You know, I'm sure so many people admire you. Mm -hmm. And thank you. You must be also admiring somebody. Who is that person? Well, there are a lot of good, very, very hardworking people. Mm -hmm. I mean, you read the story for anybody, mm -hmm. you see the success. This, this guy is running Amazon, this guy ran Microsoft, and there are a lot of people want to hear the gossip. Hmm. Nobody wants to hear the truth. Nobody wants to hear the struggle. People want to hear this guy is having an affair over there. This guy, Leave all that aside. Hmm. How did this person reach from no man to the CEO of this company? Read the real story. And then you will see this guy was working 24 hours a day, did the right thing, did a lot of people could not do. And that's how he reached there. So it's all about, it's the same story. Yeah. Hmm. There are five people looking at the same story in five different ways. It's up to you how you read the story, how you interpret the story, what you learn from the story. Exactly the same story. The way you focus on will decide where you are going. Right. If you're focusing, focusing on the gossip, then this is what you're interested in. This is where you're going. This is what that, you, that's what, what you, you see then. This is what you see. Exactly. This is what your mind is interpreting. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So looking at the real story, the struggle story, will give you motivation, will give you courage to do better, to do what, what's being done, what they did. So would you want to give any message out to youngsters, especially people coming from India? And there have been so many people who want to come here, who want to settle down here. Absolutely. I'm glad you asked. So for people who are coming, to in, coming from India, they have to take a step back, look at the mirror. What are they missing? It's a foreign country. So you have to see, are you able to communicate? If you're not, it doesn't matter how good you are. It doesn't matter what you know. If you cannot communicate what you know, it will not work in this country. So depending on what you're trying to achieve, if you want to run a grocery store, focus on learning about the grocery store. If you want to run a service firm, focus on your communication skill. There are enough people. There is enough money to be made. It's the land of opportunity. You decide where you want to go. You decide what are the steps it's going to take to reach where you want to reach. You find the action plan for each of those steps and work on it one day at a time. Please remember it's not going to happen in one day. It's going to take some time. But if you keep working on it, keep writing the goal silly, it will happen. Perfect. And we would definitely, me and Ali would want to wish you all the best. Thank you. Appreciate and uh, hopefully we get to meet you and see you again. Thank you so I much. I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for having us. Absolutely. It's my pleasure.